With your vote, we will throw out the Bidenomics and we will reinstate a thing called Maganomics. Maganomics. Crooked Joe Biden and his socialist thugs are looting trillions and trillions of dollars from the American people and giving it to radical left lunatics and friends. But Biden's reign of plunder and terror stops the day I take the oath of office. The hardworking American taxpayer will once again have a friend and a fighter and a champion in the White House. Biden's socialist spending his socialist spending is really what's happening is uh, your Social Security is is going to be gone. You know, they don't say it. They never say it. They will not you will not be able to have Social Security with this guy in office because he's destroying the economics of our country. And that includes Medicare, by the way. And American seniors are going to be in big trouble. I made a promise that I will always keep Social Security, Medicare, we always will keep it. We won't be cutting it. We have liquid gold under the ground. We'll be drilling like a son of a gun, but we're leaving your Social Security around. They won't, and they can't make that pledge because their economic theory is no good because they're taking in millions and millions of people in this country, and they're spending. You know, I look at New York, and New York is very low on money for years, and New York State, very, very low. And a lot of people want to leave because of the lawfare that's going. A lot of companies are leaving because they don't want to get caught up into the crap that I got caught up into, where they go after you for no reason whatsoever. No victim, no this, no that. They let violent criminals roam the streets, roam in the subways, but they go after Trump all the time. And uh, people get tired of it. P companies don't want to be subject to that. But if you take a look at all of the things that are happening, the money, the billions and billions of dollars, and I say, where did they get this money? California, the same thing. Gavin Newscom. Does anyone ever? <laughs> Gavin Newscom. S-C-U-M is his last. No, Gavin Newscom. He, uh, this guy, he's always talking about, oh, California, it's great, great. They're losing a fortune. People are moving out. I have property there. I love California. One of the most beautiful places. They're destroying it. They're destroying California. This guy is a horrible, horrible governor. In a certain way, I'd like him to run, you know, to be honest. I think it would, I just think it would be, you know, he's a, he's sort of a, he's just a bullshit artist. It's like, it's crazy. He's done such a bad job. But you look at what Democrats have done. Look at Illinois. I don't know how it continues. You have this guy Pritzker. I don't know. He's too busy eating. He wants to eat all the time. Would you like a hamburger? How many do you want? Five? I'll have five burgers, please. You go to his office. Would you like a hamburger? Yeah. Okay, I'll have five burgers, please. Who the hell orders five burgers? But look, our country, our country can't go through it, and we're not going to go through it much longer. You know, we play the song, you know, that hold on, I'm coming. Do we like it? Who liked the Rolling? Okay, you had the Rolling Stone, uh, Stone song, which we liked. That was for first. You know that song, right? You can't always get what you want, which made no sense, you know. But it was a good song, right? It made no sense. You can't always get. They asked me. I say no. They're talking about the Democrats. I said the Democrats can't always get what they want. So that way, I at least saved it. But it was a good song. Or the Sam and Dave. Who likes the second better? Uh, Hold on, I'm coming. Yes. You like it better? Do you like it better? Yeah, both good. The other does bring back some good memories, in all fairness. And no wonder it's really